Welcome to the Strand Beast Design Project. We like to call it the SVD Project. There's our group members and everybody's gonna kind of discuss parts and how our project went. Okay, so what I helped create was a frame of the, the Strand Beast, like which was this part. And the part I had the most trouble with was creating that long part, which is like 56 point. And I helped create like the PowerPoint, like the basis of it. And like everyone else just pitched in and like added pictures and then they added like their part to which part they created and for the final product of the the frame which is like the right side and the left side is whenever the parts were being created all right so my portion of the project was first i presented the idea of the strand beast to our group i also purchased and distributed the parts of a already existing model so that we could base our model off of it to make it a little easier because there's a lot of precision and precise measurements and such that go into making an actually working model and not just something to look at. Now, I also measured and modeled the leg components in the Autodesk Inventor and converted all the files into 3D printable files and sent those to Robert. And here are some pictures of the processes I went through with those parts. The next thing that I did was doing the same thing with the leg, but with the fan. So here we sit, have some pictures of the fans uh, on the far left, labeled the original fan, is the original fan from the purchased model. To the direct right of that is the first version of the fan I created in Autodesk Inventor. And next to that is the fan created on the 3D printer from that uh, Autodesk model. We discovered that it was more difficult to test the strand beads because it, there's not really much to grab onto and it was also a little fragile and thin. We did a second version based off of the original and put our names as well as the professor's name and the date on the fan. Also extended the middle part of the fan so you can twist it with your finger and make it easier to test out the strand beast. Made the blades a little thicker and there is also the 3D printed version of that, which is the final version on our uh, final model. Okay, so I did the gear assembly. So the top gear has the 80 tooth gear and then the gear in the center is a 10 tooth gear and the gear on the bottom is the 40 tooth gear. So they kind of interlock right in the center. And here is the complete assembly of the gears with the gear shaft and everything. So on the left, those are from the model. The one in the center, that was built an inventor. And the one on the right, that's a 3D printed completely assembled gear. And the gear assembly has a gear ratio of 26 to 1. So for each time the fan blade spins 26 times, the gear will turn once. I also did the drawings. This is an exploded view of the drawings. You got your fan, the gears, gear shaft, camshaft, frame, other parts. And here is the part for the leg. It's kind of cool looking part, so I put it up there. It's all the measurements and everything. As for the cam design, the lobes were a little intricate and there are a number of measurements in that 3D range. So we actually developed this as individual parts and then did a sub-assembly to create the camshaft. That was actually just the easiest process for doing it. On the top is the inventor model image and the bottom shows the 3D printed option. It's still a fairly rough 3D print. That got a little better throughout the process. And then to the left, you can see the vertical print process while, and it still has the framing built for, for the 3D printing. So uh, a lot of that framing was very difficult to get off and left a lot of residue, as you can see from on the part from the right. So there was a process that, that developed to make those camshafts a little smoother and print them in a little higher definition. This shows the assembly in Inventor. This is on the left, we have a image from the front of the strand beast. It shows the fan assembly, the gear assembly, and then the leg action. From the rear, you can see the how the legs all sit on the same shaft. 
And then you have the camshaft in the middle that's rotated with the secondary gear. That's a good image from the back. And then we have a lot of the legs on the right side are transparent so that you can kind of see that whole gear set and the crankshaft. In the printing process, obviously you can see mistakes were made. We used the raised 3D printing tower and then printed, it printed very good. We had to catch on to and figure out the quality processes and they took a long time. So uh, we have a lot of parts, over a hundred, because we probably printed 30 times in this whole process. Fresh off the printer on the left shows how the models come with their framing built in, connected to the, the base. And then you've got in gray, you see the camshafts. In red, you can see some of the minor parts and then the leg assembly. And that, that, one, that one flat black leg assembly uh, represents three legs. And then to the right, I have each part laid down. That's just one leg is, the, is requires six different parts. And you can look at those legs closely and see they're, they're relatively rough, meaning the printing process had to be improved substantially and using pretty high resolution printing to get high enough quality parts. You can see, especially on the, the far left of the right hand image, you can see that bottom circle where it's supposed to be a circle is not even close to a circle. So a lot of those parts originally had to be drilled out even along the whole process. So lots of, lots of testing and tuning. As you can see, we got tools sitting around and things like that. And a lot of those uh, testing and tuning that I was talking about, we have the drill set and some lubricant there, as well as some cutters and a couple other fine tools. You can see a couple of secondary prints in the background. There's an extra set of gears for changing out gear ratios and things like that and adjusting different tolerances. The fan assembly, this is the secondary fan assembly. You can see it's got a little bit of a roughness to it. And there's some imperfections in that printing process that made it very difficult. So in the test and tuning phase, one of the major factors was getting everything to align correctly with limited friction. We ran into the issue if the tolerances were too tight, the friction became too high. If the tolerances were too loose, there would be binding and uh, jarring during the, the process, which would cause the two main gears to skip teeth. 